This year, TSMC has won an order of 500 billion new Taiwan dollars from Apple, which is a seemingly glimmer of hope on its precipice. But even so, TSMC is still in a dilemma, and there is not much time left to struggle. To be honest, in the past few months, TSMC has had five different nightmares in a row. Perhaps from the moment TSMC chose to obey the United States, everything was doomed. It may not be that TSMC does not understand America's intentions, but just think that it can handle the US. However, in the end, TSMC underestimated US ambitions and overestimated its own ability to reverse the situation. Hey, sleepy TSMC, it's time to wake up. So, which five nightmares are tormenting TSMC? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The first bad news is that its revenue are controlled by the United States. In the past two years, US companies have become TSMC's main source of income. TSMC has been trying to resume cooperation with Huawei, but the United States has not said yes. TSMC has not only lost more than 30 billion in annual revenue, but also completely lost the initiative. If it loses the opportunity to cooperate with US companies, TSMC will lose nearly 65% of its revenue, which is equivalent to falling into chronic death for TSMC. Naturally, TSMC will not just wait and see. The method that comes to mind is to increase investment in mainland China. Last year, TSMC announced that it would expand its chip factory in Nanjing to increase its 28 nanometers chip production capacity. TSMC's purpose is very obvious. It wants to shift its business focus and help itself get rid of the control of US companies. The United States also clearly sees TSMC's intentions. Soon, the United States banned ASML from providing any EUV lithography machine equipment to the mainland, and at the same time prohibited any semiconductor companies operating in the mainland from using 28 nanometers lithography machines, which meant that TSMC's plan was completely defeated. TSMC has completely lost the initiative to negotiate with the United States, and the core technology is controlled by the United States. To make matters worse, 65% of its revenue also comes from American companies. Now, TSMC no longer dares to fall out with the United States. The second bad news is that SMIC grabs its market share. The rise of SMIC is unforeseen bad news for TSMC. In the past three years, China's domestic chip industry has suddenly risen. The number of chip companies has increased from 7,417 in 2018 to 47,392, a full sixfold increase. Originally, the chip supplier in mainland China was dominated by TSMC, and manufacturers such as SMIC could only take a share of TSMC's remaining orders. However, in recent years, SMIC's technology has continued to improve, not only increasing the production capacity of 28 nanometers chips, but also achieving the mass production of 14 nanometers chips. SMIC supply is more stable, so many mainland companies have chosen to change suppliers, and TSMC's situation has become more and more passive. SMIC obviously has a tendency to overtake in corners, and TSMC does not have much energy to defend now, because TSMC is now giving it a shot, hitting 3 nanometers. Samsung has already launched an impact on 3 nanometers technology. If TSMC loses again on this track, it is likely to completely lose the throne. However, the current situation does not seem optimistic for TSMC. The third bad news is that the US is planning to establish a new king, and the lithography machine was cut off. At the critical moment when TSMC is riveting on 3 nanometers chips, TSMC has ushered in new bad news. ASML announced last year that it has developed a new generation of EUV lithography machine, HyNA lithography machine. This lithography machine can not only meet the production of 3 nanometers chips, but even produce higher end 2 nanometers chips. As soon as the news came out, SMC, Samsung, and Intel all rushed to buy at high prices. According to the previous situation, TSMC is basically bound to win, but this time TSMC lost to Intel, and Intel finally won ASML's first new lithography machine at a price of 400 million US dollars, and plans to deliver it in 2025, this is likely to mean that TSMC's process of developing 3 nanometers chip technology will be delayed. 
In recent years, the United States has been interested in cultivating Intel to replace TSMC, and even dispatched hundreds of engineers from TSMC to support Intel. If Intel really replaces TSMC to become the number one, then TSMC may lose its use value for the United States. At that time, TSMC's situation may be even more dangerous. Fourth, the United States wants to poach people from TSMC in order to fill the talent gap of the local semiconductor industry. Due to the difficulty in recruiting qualified and experienced employees in the United States, the local semiconductor market is facing more than 5,000 job vacancies, and the American think tank suggested that these vacancies can be imported from outside, preferably experienced talents from TSMC. When TSMC went to the United States to build a factory, it was also required to hand over some of its technical cores. Obviously, the United States invited TSMC to work for free for the US and take this opportunity to obtain relevant technologies. Seeing that the previous plan did not work, the United States began to find ways to poach people. In addition, in order to stimulate the enthusiasm of local semiconductor manufacturers to build factories, the United States also passed a subsidy bill of 52 billion US dollars so as to reduce the pressure on the builders of local fabs. However, Intel, a local American company, has already built two fabs with a subsidy of $20 billion, and TSMC still has not received a cent. Last but not least, the United States held a hearing on chip, but TSMC is the only one not being invited. In order to improve the local chip manufacturing capacity and competitiveness, Maria Cantwell, chairman of the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee, held a chip hearing and invited various leaders in the semiconductor field to discuss how to develop the next generation of chip technology. This chip hearing invited Samsung, Intel, Micron, including the CEO of truckmaker Packcar, and the U.S. executives even met with executives from chip makers such as Samsung and Micron. But TSMC was not included in the invited list. In addition to discussing how to develop next-generation chip technology, the hearing also explored defects in the chip supply chain and the relationship between the chip field and the competitiveness of the United States. It is obvious that they started to marginalize TSMC. If you have any thoughts on TSMC being trapped by the United States, you are welcome to leave your unique insights in the comment area. Now for TSMC, a last-ditch battle may be a choice that has to be made, otherwise it will eventually usher in either chronic death or complete oversight. From the perspective of a bystander, I can only wish TSMC good luck. At the same time, this also sounded the alarm for all technology companies to take their destiny into their own hands. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.